Howdy, tis I the queen. Um, if you couldn't tell, we upped the budget a little bit and we now have microphones. So is read by this title, obviously. It's kind of a serious subject, which is gonna be the first episode of a segment I have planned on doing for a while called Serious Sides, where we talk about, you know, serious subjects and issues that other influencers or even the big people don't want to talk about, so let us little people talk about it. And what better way to start the first episode with something super personal? <laughs> me my college experience <laughs> oh boy I just wanted to talk about this because I want this video to kind of help people like address the future college students uh current college students college students that dropped out and want to get back in or college students that dropped out and don't know what to do because I kind of been through all of that so I'm gonna it's going to be different parts it's going to explain my experience what went wrong and what I'm doing now hopefully in 15 minutes because I'm not going to edit this at all because again I, I want this to be personal and not edited as much as possible not even like funny little text I'm going to put up if I say something stupid or kind of funny I'm trying to be serious so minute 37 seconds in gonna give myself seven minutes to explain my whole entire story okay so I'm not gonna say the school's name because I'm not gonna try to drag them and embarrass people that you know my friends that still go there I'm gonna drag them I could but I won't I'm trying to be a nice person so um I went to my parents alma mater I'm just gonna say it was a private Christian university that's all I'm gonna say if you don't know what it is by now don't don't try to look it up and don't try to drag them either. It's it's pointless. So I went there and um, I first went in as English ed because I was good at English. I did enjoy it. And I do, I love children. I, you know, want to help them. And, you know, I helped my brother when he was little doing his homework. So I thought I could continue that even though my tr my true dream was working with animals but i'll bring that up in a little bit look at the camera airy <sighs> trying to be intimate here so my first year basically my freshman year of doing it it went pretty well i thought i thought i was doing pretty well until like halfway through spring semester my one prof uh called for a meeting with um himself my advisor and my mom with me in the room my mom was on the on the phone because again it was a distance away so um that happened and he was kind of like oh yeah well we don't find airy to be you know she's not expecting leadership she's not showing like her own thought she's like pretty shy and everything and i'm sitting here like are you for real i didn't say that out loud because I keep most of my thoughts I've missed to myself, which I need to work on. I should probably voice what I'm thinking for people to better understand me, but I was thinking, dude, I led one group project by myself because for one, our first meeting, no one even showed up to it until like 30 minutes later, and I wrote down all the things we could have done, and the one guy that came in was like, I mean, I don't care what, you, what we do as long as like we do something that's good for the class. Like, you guys can come up with anything. I don't care. Put in your thoughts, man. Come on. I'm not failing because you don't know what to do, okay? I'm not. We didn't fail, but still. I'm, I still think about that sometimes. I'm not petty at all. So, just decided to leave English Ed and just stick with English. So, starting my sophomore year off, I was an English major. And that, I guess, was my second mistake. First mistake was listening to the professor. Um, the per I mean, I did enjoy doing just the English stuff too, and the focus on the education part. But one prof did not make that experience enjoyable. That's why I left the English department because of that professor. Like, if you mention that professor to some of the other English majors there, they were like, "Ooh, yeah, don't don't take them." I met three people in that department that actually liked that person, which is amazing. They have the hearts of angels because I do not. 
but so I decided to follow my dream and do what I should have done the whole time go in for veterinary stuff for them they didn't have a specific stuff for veterinary stuff it was zoology which kind of touched on the basics for it I guess so I tried that nothing about me I'm terrible at math and that also comes with science so those were troubles I always had in school growing up I've always had like I've had fear and I've had panic attacks because of those things now so getting stuck with a math class bio and chem with labs on the same day literally it was bio lab this philosophy class I took with one of my friends a break and then chem and rushing off to go to my that class I think it was Christian, Christian scriptures yeah I think that, that was it I finally remember the name but doing all that like going to the lab I ended at 10 30 and that class began at 10 30 so I as soon as I was done with my stuff for lab I ran to get to the building and I was on the, on the third floor so elevator <laughs> I'm not, I feel bad whenever I'm that kind of person. I only use it for emergencies, the elevator. Only for emergencies, because I do have some health problems, but I'll, I won't get into that right now. So, that was my second mistake, kind of thinking I knew everything and I thought I was going to be fine. I failed everything. And I didn't realize it at the time, but now when I think it over, I'm like, that was probably when I was really hard into burnout like my burnout was like slowly but surely I'm gonna come and kill you and God did it um and did I tell my parents these grades not for a while actually because I was mortified and embarrassed because I'm not a perfectionist I'm a Capricorn but I'm not a perfectionist I am a little uh, uh, I was a workaholic and just wanted to do everything but that was a mistake. I thought I could handle it. I, I couldn't. It was just, it was too much that was thrown at me. And I was like, yeah, yeah, I got this. Oh, innocent sophomore me, what were you thinking? So now I got to junior year, my last year at the school. So, um, mm, where's mistake number three in this? I went back to English. That was the third mistake. <laughs> I went back to the place I left. Now everyone's like, well, yeah, a lot of people go through majors when they're in college. That is very true. Maybe two or three. I literally went from English ed, English, zoology, English. I Four majors in close to three years of being there. So um, at that point, I think I had especially lost interest in doing anything the main reason why I stayed was because of my relationships with with friends and, and family. I, I just couldn't leave just like that, like uproot and left. Junior year was, for one, the first time I lived in an apartment with other people. I lived with my friends. And now it's also kind of funny in a way because now I'm, well, two of them are sisters and I'm dating their brothers. So... Just thought I should point that out. It was a fun time. It was fun. But um, apartment life does change you. It, it was a new experience. It also got me thinking too. Like Adult life sucks. <laughs> How many people were like, I can't wait to be an adult. And I'm like, adulthood? This is the worst hood I've been in. I'm taking Allie Cat's joke. I'm sorry, Allie. <laughs> but um, jokes aside... I, um, my junior year was mainly more filled with, like, trying to bring up my GPA so I could at least, you know, just be good. <laughs> and possibly, because I still wanted to graduate with my friends. I wanted to graduate with my class. But if I didn't switch and do something else, I wasn't going to make it. I might, I might have made it, but at that point, I was like, I can't have an interest anymore. I've... Basically, this place made me lose my interest in things. Like, I used to love writing and art, and now I'm like, I struggle just to do that. I have the ideas for it, but I don't do them, and I hate it. So, 
so that spring break because I'm it, this was my old, my third fourth what mistake what mistake am I on that's how many I made I forgot but basically spring break this past spring break you know my mom did her investigating and found out all my grades and she was like baby you can't do this no more you just you can't you're killing yourself here and and I was so my mom told me my dad was coming to get me that next weekend so I had a week left to get all of my crap organized and leave all my friends which was probably one of the hardest things I've ever done like let's just say some of my friends are persistent in keeping me there my mom friends you're gonna study this and do this and I'm like girl I can't do all this I have to go oh so that was my experience I think I'll dive into that when I want to give myself a bigger time frame maybe part two of this episode two if y'all want it but also I'll do it either way so eventually but I'll probably do it but that was my experience what went wrong was that I just put too much pressure on myself and I just thought I could do everything and I also didn't make my priorities straight with myself sometimes I I didn't sometimes I focus on having fun because that's going to be in part two because I am at the eleven thirty minute mark so I need to finish up so Okay, I still got my notes for this because I just realized. So what I'm doing right now, obviously. So I've been home for nine months officially. And I, when I first got home, I was a complete mess. I was locked in, like, in my bed. I really did not move. Even less now than I do right now, which I'm still in a bad state. Like, like my depression really grabbed me. Like, it dug its hand into my heart. It chained itself to my heart, and its other hand is now nailed to my heart. That's how hard my depression is is right now, and it didn't help that things weren't working out either way. Like, I tried to apply for so many jobs. I still am, so I'll answer, but I just kept thinking, I'm just a failure. I can't, I can't do jack. I can't do anything. But I'm also a person... Again, Capricorn. I don't like not doing anything, so I was like, what am I going to do? Am I going to give college another shot? And I am. My mom, a couple months ago, on her one of her days off, she was like, we were out and about. Uh, we were, you know, checking up on, you know, my dad at his job. And my, you know, as you know, Jethro is the kind of therapy animal they have there and you know I went to go visit him and you know I was you know taking care of him a little bit mom was like do you want to go check out uh this one college by us and I'm like you know what yeah let, let's go so we went and talked to an advisor and talked about stuff for doing um veterinary technician and um well I'm not in the in the program yet it's my intended major because it doesn't start officially like the program stuff till next fall so I just missed it but I am starting school this coming January I have to do all the prerequisites to be considered for the program and it's a competitive major too so I have to work my butt off for this stuff and I also went to an open house for a couple like two three weeks ago and it was amazing i was like this this had so much more clarity than the other school like it actually gave me hope and if anyone knows me i do not hope very easily i don't like hope and as a christian that's like girl and i'm like girl but it gave me hope so for those that are thinking college isn't worth it for maybe for you it's like college just wasn't meant for you like some of my friends dropped out before me and you know they're they're doing okay right now that they've told me but we're good they're good so so future video i mean wow that note went quickly i just heard the bus and i'm like okay i don't remember they're coming up here and see me talking to myself but I guess I'll explain more in part two because it's it's running up close so I got like a minute left so future videos with all this copper stuff going on I don't know what I'm gonna live on my own channel my own videos and stuff I have to work that all out so 
I may have more videos coming out if Kappa doesn't Kappa doesn't do more stuff to me, but I'm sorry for the videos I didn't post for last month. I wanted to, but one laptop problems and now all this Kappa stuff. So I'm like, can I even post some of that stuff? I don't know. But I'm gonna try because I really want to share videos with you guys. So I guess that's it for now on this. I kind of hope this explained something or gave you an interest in something so until next time i shall see you lovely people probably later in december or 2020 depending i do have it as i want to do before the year ends so if not have a good holiday <laughs>